This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 410 for Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. This is Brian. And this is Steph. Hi, Steph. How are you? Oh, quite well. How Welcome are you? back. Good. Welcome back mm-hmm. to the podcast, Steph. Of course, uh, if you're just joining us, is our resident senior photo editor uh, and much, much more. All sorts of other things. Yes. She's and lots of hats. Lots of hats, mm-hmm. uh, as we all do. Did you know in a previous life I used to work in the aerospace industry? I actually had a business. Uh, I started a business selling engineless planes. It never really took off. <laughs> First up this week, uh, we should mention uh, we are having a vintage pen sale. Ooh. For now, through uh, this Sunday, uh, 25% off all vintage pens that are, are, are left in inventory. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are getting to a point where we're going to come out with another batch. So this batch needs to kind of kind of move out. So um, some cool ones left. There are there's some there's a really cool pilot in there. I am shocked is still there. Um, it's got this cool ribbed pattern on it. And I should have brought them, but um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of those colorful long shorts. Yep. Yep. Those are. A couple so, of those in there still. Uh, Platinum, Pilot, uh, there might be some sailors left. Uh, we do have a couple uh, really excellent Astrobrook, um, really classic pieces, V-clips and, uh, and marble ice. But um, all that stuff's 25% off now through Sunday. And, uh, and so we can clean that out. And then we're going to have a really nice batch uh, probably in a couple weeks. Ooh, couple, can't three wait weeks, to see so. what we get. Yeah, it's going to be great. This is going to be a, this batch is going to be amazing. Uh, Retro 51, Sleepy Hollow, uh, Popper, probably gone at this point. Um, came in and basically is going to go out. We have a very small number of them. We may still have some in Chicago. Uh, so uh, really kind of a cool little orange, uh, little pumpkin on the top. So a, a neat looking pen. The so. perfect Halloween pen and it glows in the dark. Yes. Uh, so if... It, if you were looking for it and, and you see it's, it's, it's not there, it's out of stock, it's, it's, it's very likely gone by now. Um, so, but I just want to mention we did get them, so you're not waiting. Uh, the Lamy White with Red, uh, the Breast Cancer Awareness uh, pen, as it were, um, those came in and went. Those were gone in a heartbeat. I was going to pick up a mechanical pencil and I missed the boat. I was, I was shocked uh, how fast they came in uh, and, and left. And uh, we do have another order coming, so uh, they're not they're gone but not forgotten, I guess. Uh, but uh, a fountain pen, which comes with a free bottle of uh, Lamy uh, Vibrant Pink. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and that's the 50 ml bottle with uh, with a little uh, blotter tab on the bottom. Uh, rollerball ballpoint and the .5 mechanical pencil. I did get an extra one, so oh, if yes. you are interested, score. Uh, you can come down and pick it up. That red clip is so cool. It's a it's a neat, it's a neat that. pen. It's a neat pen. So I haven't and seen one like that yet. Proceeds uh, portion of the proceeds uh, from Lamy are, are going towards uh, breast cancer research. So very cool. This Twinsies. is the Penlux Masterpiece Grande, the Koi, in black and red. What do you think of this? I I think of all the different Koi patterns, this one really like looks the most like a Koi. It's, yeah, it's just, very unique, isn't it? It's just it's just got. So, because they they have the the blue, and then the red, and then now there's the red and the black. So, um, but this is a, this is an oversized pen. Uh, this is 149, a king of pen size actually, uh, and a nice acrylic uh, with a piston fill. Um, Yovo nib, this Yovo steel nib, really nice, uh, a nice cap. We've got the roller clip, uh, but a, but a real nice pen, and, and it's yeah, under 200 I- bucks. Which is unbelievable. Every time I pick one of these up, I'm like, wow, the build quality on these is really nice. Mm-hmm. Everything feels really good when you twist it and turn it, and it feels nice and solid in the hand. Normally, I like a smaller pen, but this is actually a really nice shape. Yeah, yeah, I would. It, it, it does post. It is kind of obscenely long posted. I think, you know, the, the, the unposted length is really nice on these. Yeah, yeah. So, nice, nice weight. It has a little bit of weight to it because of the piston mechanism, so, uh, but it's not heavy. No, no. And the p- piston mechanism is really fun to use. I, I've never actually inked one of these up, but I bet you... You should come you. to the store when you pick up your pencil because we've got one inked up at the store that Ooh. you can try. So uh, that's the newest addition in the lineup, and there are uh, a number of colors. Uh, those are all, like I say, they're, they're Yovo nibs. So extra fine, fine, 
uh, medium, broad, uh, 1.1. Uh, there's a whole mix there. So um, those are available. Uh, we have some things on sale. Uh -huh. And your job is to remember which ones those are, and I'll remember which ones these are. Oh, boy. <laughs> so uh, Viscati has decided they are going to be discontinuing a few lines. And uh, so we are offering a handsome discount. Uh, I have the Opera, uh, the Demo Carousel. And these are really pretty, pretty sweet pens. I like these yeah. with the hook, hook safe lock. Uh, in the, these wonderful colors, uh, and the Voyagers. The Voyagers, and this is the Orion or the Alpha Centauri? That is the Alpha Centauri. There we go. The brown is the Alpha Centauri, yep. These are both really great colors. This is sort of a pearlescent orange. Let me feel this one. This one, yeah, pearlescent purple. This purple, Orion Nebula is fantastic. I love this material. Yeah, I love the, I love the way that they kind of cut like planks of, of uh, cellulose or acrylic here mm -hmm. and to create a kind of create a striated effect it's really it looks fa it almost looks faceted yeah yeah because from afar when you're not holding it you're like is there I, I remember seeing the original pictures and thinking is that a faceted pen that'd be cool yeah and but. it's it's really nice in the hand I like I like that it's not is when it's in my hand but mm -hmm. this well, it's cool because it's always catching the light somewhere and what what nib is on that one this one is a fine. And it's a uh, gold nib? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 14 karat fine. These are <laughs> these are a really cool deal. I mean, they for are. what the sale price is just under 500. Yeah, they're 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 really st a steal. Um, mm -hmm. the demo carousel Except this the is nibs the, are gold. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, pink blush, which I, I think is a really super cool color. Yeah, that one's really pretty, especially with that silver trim. Uh, we've got the uh, the red velvet uh, I do like the blue cotton candy too, though. That's a neat color, and they're 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 like a, you know they they remind me of of the, the Van Gogh mixture almost. Yeah, the green mint. with the little like it's mostly translucent, and then mm -hmm. there's just like a little swirl of like a like a, and that one a white light lime green yep. sort of. Yeah. And those are power fillers, right? Yeah, these are power fillers. Yep. Mm -hmm. And these ones are cartridge. Those are just converter, cartridge converter, but they've yeah. got that cool engraved cartridge on the inside yeah. that says Voyager on them. And uh, the demo here has got the acrylic rod for the power filler. So, so cool. Which is pretty cool, yeah. When you're doing photography and it's so these, and you can kind of see through, you're like, oh, that's neat. Yeah, yeah. and th these, are, these are about the same price, too. So, I mean, if you've been looking for a Visconti, this is a real super, this is, this is a super cool pen and a super deal. Yeah, um, they've got all the bells and whistles yeah. that I would want from... Uh, like high-end Visconti, yeah. you get that. I mean, it's nice still, you know, it's yeah. still right around five hundred bucks. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. no joke. Uh, but uh, uh, it's but if it, you're going to spend money deal. on a nice yeah. pen, I mean, this... these were seven hundred bucks. Yeah, you know, yeah. or more. So, uh, so those are on sale uh, until they're gone. What we have is what we have. Um, but uh, check those out. I used to play piano by ear. Now I use my hands. We have something that did come back. Oh, let's Which see. Which is surprising in this industry. These tornado mechanical pencils. Here, I'll give you a couple to play with. Ooh, I like this one. I'll take a couple. This is the Albert. Oh. Yes. So, Retro 51, uh, as they were winding down last year, uh, as George was retiring and selling off the company, um, they, they sold through and they got rid of all their pencils. Uh, so, pretty much all of this year, they've been gone. Uh, they are now back in the catalog. We have the uh, the Albert, which has got the E equals MC squared on it. What do you have? You've got the... I've got the crossword, uh, just crossword, right? The crossword, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I actually oh. have one of those pencils. Oh. I have that one. I've never actually looked at the words on it before. They have some really cool, they have karate on karate, there. Karate, <laughs> yeah. Retro 1951, <laughs> swell. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have some cool stuff on there. Cool. <laughs> um, the uh, the stealth is back, so the all black like with the black one. clip and the black eraser. Um, and I love that black eraser. The it's, one you have, I think, is, is is I don't think they had this one blue? before. The ice blue, I think yeah. this is new. Um, but it's a cool. <laughs> it's a. Neat, I'm gonna move right on. Uh, it's a neat color. Um, I think it's 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 swell. It is, it is just swell. Uh, one might even go so far as to say it's cool. Uh, 
Uh, these have these have a 1.15 millimeter lead in them, and uh, so if you're if you're like me, I don't, I can't use it like a 0.5. But I'm always breaking the yeah, lead. Yeah, oh, snap. Uh, so this, this is one of the, the largest leads uh, in the industry, uh, short of a, a sketch pencil, um, and it's it's real comfortable to use. I kind of like that as you're writing with it, you sort of get like a little slant, and then mm -hmm. if you need to make a really fine line, you just flip mm -hmm. it on its side. And... It's sort of like a, a cross point or something. Yeah, yeah, they're really kind of nice. I, I really like these mechanical pencils, and they twist as yes. opposed to click, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. great for when you want just the right amount of lead. Yep. So these are back, uh, and they're, of course, retro-priced, uh, very inexpensive um, for what you get. So, very cool. Uh, that's exciting to see those come back. Uh, the Esterbrook SD Oversize Rocky Top. So these were gone. Yeah, I and always forget how pretty they are yes, until I see one in person. This is this is fantastic. And uh, when we had our event in Chicago, uh, Carrie had one of these in his case. And I said, well, what are you doing with that? Why why do you have this? And he says, well, we, I, I found a couple. They made a couple. And uh, and so, I, of course, I bought them. And uh, we've got literally one left. It's this one the, here. This is the, the last. This is the one. And I think this one's fantastic. I mean, they're all good, but this one has such a nice... Variation oh, yeah. of this white and the orange uh, and the gray. Yeah, uh, it's a really everyone is a little bit different. Yeah. This is this is an extra pretty one. This is this is a really fantastic. So um, these are available. Uh, all of your standard nibs, uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 stub, uh, journaler, and uh, scribe. I was just about to ask if those ones yes. came with this. Yes. Uh, as always, the journalers and scribes uh, sometimes take a little bit extra long for me to get the nibs. But uh, uh, if you're interested in this, this is it. So this is the last one. I don't believe there are any more. Let's talk about what's coming soon. All right. Um, not things I have in front of me. Yeah, not things we have in front of us because I don't have them yet. Um, Pelican, uh, a couple of special editions. Uh, this one I'm pretty excited about, the M205 Petrol Marbled. Yes. Oh. I, a, have you, you've seen this, of course. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've seen it. It was a it, whole cause... afternoon of looking <laughs> looking these pens up and going, oh, it's so beautiful. It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 205, so it's got the silver trim, uh, steel nib, but what a cool pattern. Yeah. And what a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. That, that blue-green is always a winner yeah. for me. And you... it looks like there was like that, that clear section in the middle mm -hmm. might also be blue-green. It's so. Oh, so pretty. You know, I think you put the name petrol on something, and it just automatically makes it, it's mind-blowing. It's such a really neat, neat-looking pen. Uh, M205 Petrol Marble that's coming soon. And uh, well, the I think what everybody's... really everybody's, made me freak out. Yeah, everybody's talking about the M200 Golden Barrel. So this is Ooh. made to match, of course, the ink. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's it's a like a, a transparent, kind of cloudy, Clear almost like the... Clear with gold sparkles. With gold oh sparkles, my gosh, it's yeah. so pretty. Um, gold trim, <laughs> of course, is a 200. Uh, but nice, nice, nice looking pen. So uh, those are coming soon. Still a gold plated steel nib. Um, and they're coming in uh, extra fine, fine and medium, I believe. Uh, piston fillers, of course. <sighs> nice, uh, nice looking pens. I, I love the idea of a totally clear piston filler pen. That's would you put would you put golden barrel in there? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and All it'd be, day it'd, long. Be, it'd be the only thing you put in there? I mean, maybe, I, I would probably start out saying this is the only ink I'm going to pu ever put in any pen, but every time I do that, I break my rule. I, it would seem appropriate in that one, maybe. And like petrol marbled, I mean, you know, there's there's only so much you can do that's that'll work, but golden barrel, I mean. That one, oh, so many inks would look so pretty in that pen. I would I would start out with golden barrel and think that's the only thing I'm ever going to put in there. And then I'd be like, what if I put like a bright green in there? Well, what, if, what happens when golden barrel goes away? Well, I'll just, <laughs> then that's when I have to experiment. <laughs> that, that, that idea goes out the window. So yes. um, those are coming soon, um, hopefully the next, next uh, few weeks. Uh, so keep an eye out for those, uh, sign up for back in stock notifications. I hear that Lisa is, is doing well in Chicago. She is doing fantastic in Chicago, uh, doing a bang up job. Uh, and she will be here next week. <gasps> All right. Is it that time already? It is that time. It's just time for the uh, the six week switch, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, so Lisa's coming down, and I will be going down to Chicago, uh, and I'll be there for most of a week. Uh, so if you're down there, uh, come out and say hi. And uh, nothing, no, no, no event or anything. We're just uh, changing of the guards for a bit. 
And uh, Lisa's got to come say hi to the cats. She's got to say hi to the cats. Yep, yeah, and say hi to everybody. So, mm -hmm. um, but uh, that's coming up. We're doing well, and we're open. Uh, this is a reminder: open seven days a week. Uh, Monday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5.30, and Sundays noon to 4. So uh, minus a, a short 20-minute-ish uh, uh, lunch break each day. Gotcha. So. And that's in Chicago. That's in Chicago. In Appleton. Uh, in the Palmer House. Uh, here in Appleton, uh, we're six days, 9.30 to 5.30, uh, Monday through Friday, and 10 to 2 on Saturdays. And 10 to 2 is when you'll see me because I'm usually here on Saturdays. Uh, I think that's it. I think so. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. No, join us next time. <laughs> Be sure to follow our blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Right. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Some people always need their opinions validated. Am I right? Oh, that's good. <laughs>